Okay, we'll have uh, this video will show you the abdominal uh, arteries of the cat. Uh, okay, we're going to start up top and work our way down. Uh, here is uh, off camera, if you don't know if you can see that, but I don't think you can see it, is the diaphragm. And uh, the abdominal aorta passes through the diaphragm and uh, gives rise to the celiac trunk. Here's the celiac trunk here. And I'll follow the celiac trunk to show you uh, the hepatic. Here's a gastric, and here is another gastric. And as you go further out uh, towards the spleen, which is right here, is the splenic arteries. And again, that is the hepatic, the gastric, and the splenic. Now, as we go down the uh, abdominal aorta, the next vessel past, past the celiac trunk, which is here, is now the superior mesenteric, and uh, that's right here, superior mesenteric, and it uh, runs into the colon, and you continue downwards, and here is your kidney, you have the renal artery, which is here and here and, and as you can see it's attached to the abdominal aorta there is the renal artery oh I almost forgot because it's so small above that is the adrenal lumbar and many times that's broken but above it here is the adrenal lumbar. Uh, zoom in there for you. Here's the adrenal lumbar and here's the renal. Adrenal lumbar, renal. Okay, uh, as we continue downward, you will see here this uh, cat is uh, a male. Uh, here's the penis and you can see the uh, scrotum and the testes are enclosed. As we continue downward of the descending uh, aorta, here's a branch of the spermatic artery. It goes towards the uh, testes. And when they go past that, here is the inferior mesenteric because uh, if this is the inferior mesenteric this is the superior mesenteric and I call this my stick man if you've ever played hangman as a kid uh, this always reminds me of it uh, I see my two arms here my two legs here these are the iliolumbar and uh, again that's the right and this is the left left over here, right over here. And as we continue down, this is the external iliac. And if there's an external iliac, there has to be an internal iliac. And that's what these are. And again, right and left. And right in the middle, right there, is the caudal. And that goes to, towards the tail. As we uh, continue downward, uh, down the external iliac, you will see the femoral. But where does the femoral start and the external iliac end? You have to find that other vessel that's in between, and that one here, it's called the deep femoral, which is right here. Deep femoral, right there. And uh, again, we would continue down towards the knee. Here's the knee, here's the knee. And here we are with the femoral. The femoral uh, will branch into three vessels that you have to know. The superior articular, which is a very tiny one here, which was broken, but here I am holding it from where it came from. 
and then here's the popliteal. And uh, as the blood flows downward, it goes towards the leg, and uh, that supplies the foot. And that is the uh, saphenous vein. Some people say saphenous, some say saphenous. Uh, depends on uh, uh, where you went to school, I guess. But saphenous and saphenous are both uh, acceptable.